Community theater is, it's so collaborative. It's these people who, despite everything else that they're doing in their life, despite whatever their job is, they're coming together to create something that they all are passionate about. I'm a training coordinator for Olympia Sports. Senior customer support representative. Is that what my name is? That what I see? Senior. I'm retired military and I currently work for the IRS. I am a retired person. Customer support. Customer. I'm an accountant for the city of Portland. Um, patriarch of Smiling Hill Farm. In life, I am a high school theater teacher. Student at the University of Southern Maine. Uh, oh, customer, I'm sorry, a senior customer support consultant. Community theater is definitely one of those things that you have to have the heart for it. It was a definite moment when the, the switch flipped. John, you're born. We've heard this before. Now God save John, sit down. Uh, I actually got into community theater on a fluke. I went to the, uh, I was in New York City and I studied, studied and graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, blah, 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 blah. Well, I've done since I was about seven professionally in community. 20 something anyway. Yeah. And I did a lot of uh, theater in school, in high school and in college. In one form or another since I was a little kid, you know, telling jokes and singing for the family. And... Oh wait, I forgot the question. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Had a lovely career, blah, blah, blah. Moved to Maine because it was time to move to Maine. You know, it wasn't too, too long before uh, 1776 rolled along and it's always been one of my favorite shows of all time. This is a show that is never done. The experience was fantastic. It's just amazing to me how uh, you can bring together, especially a cast the size that we had. Being with 20 plus guys who are all just being goofy. All of a sudden, it's real. You go into these productions with a book, and that's all. It's hard to transition yourself completely into that character. I am at that age of 73, and um, I have such things as senior moments. The running joke is if you can stand up, breathe, and not fall over on a stage, you've got a role in community theater. That's what's so wonderful about community theater actors is that they're pushable. And everybody, the minute they hit that stage, never, never gave less than 150%. You can't ask for better than that. I got the cast I wanted. I got the cast I needed. Mr. Ray, Colonel Kidd, that's enough! Mr. Hopkins. You know, it just takes so damn many guys to put it on, you know? Set design, costumes, Blah, 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 all of that. People wouldn't give up their evenings if they didn't think that it was worthwhile. I was amazed with this group, and I feel it was because that we were all there for a common cause and we all wanted to be there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm always just amazed at how, how groups come together the way that we did. It, it's a love. Um, everyone has jobs outside of community theater and you drag yourself there and you find life. I mean, you just have such great connections with people and you get to know new people and it's a family. I mean, theater is a family. It basically kept me alive. It was just, it gave me that rejuvenation. It's such a social thing. It's artistic, but it's also really, really social. Such a, such a great group of people, such a diverse group of people with all kinds of different backgrounds. And it's just, uh, it's uh, awe-inspiring. <laughs>